Journey to the West, Chapter 23, Great Protectors. The creature had a pig snout and ears, but he ran on two legs like a person. He swung the rake again. Wukong blocked the rake with his iron bar. Clang! Then he swung the bar at the pig's feet. Cried the pig. He fell face down in the dirt. He jumped back up. You'll wish you hadn't done that. Wukong leaped out of the way as the pig's rake slammed down, smashing a boulder. The two fought, kicking up dust and rocks. The Tang monk hid behind his horse. Surrender now! Wukong swung his iron bar again. I am Sun Wukong! Five hundred years ago, I caused lots of trouble in heaven. The Jade Emperor's entire army couldn't stop me. I've heard of you, said the pig. But you don't seem so powerful to me. He lunged at the monkey again. Wukong jumped out of the way. I thought you were being punished, said the pig. He swung his rake again. Weren't you trapped under a mountain? I'm free now, said Wukong. I'm going to the west with the Tang Monk to... The Tang Monk? cried the pig. He dropped his rake. I'm supposed to go with him too. You are? asked Wukong. I was sent to Earth as a punishment, said the pig. My name is Zhu Bajie. I caused trouble in heaven too. Guan Yin said I would be forgiven if I helped protect the Tang Monk. Wukong rubbed his chin. Okay, he said. You can carry the bags. Zhu Bajie joined the group, and the three of them continued west. As they traveled, the pig kept complaining. These bags are so heavy. Do we really need to bring them? Stop complaining, snapped Wukong. Going to the Western Paradise is supposed to be difficult. Ow. The pig moaned. I'm hungry too. When are we going to eat lunch? The Tang Monk frowned. We just ate breakfast. How can you be hungry again? They went around a bend and saw a large tiger. Bajie and Wukong quickly pulled out their weapons. Who are you? yelled Bajie. What are you doing here? My master, the great king Yellow Wind, is hosting a feast, said the tiger. He looked at the Tang monk. I'm gathering people to eat. The Tang monk's face turned pale, and he fell off his horse. Don't you dare harm our master, Bajie warned. He is the Tang monk. He's going to the west to get the true scriptures. The tiger's eyes opened wide. I heard that eating the Tang monk will make someone live forever. The tiger showed his claws. Then he lunged at Bajie. The pig hit him with the rake. The tiger tumbled over. Wukong ran toward the tiger with his iron bar. The tiger dodged the bar and then almost got hit by the rake again. He turned and fled. Wukong and Ba Jie ran after the tiger. For a moment, they lost him. Then, they spotted a flash of orange behind some bushes. There he is, whispered Ba Jie. The monkey and pig sneaked up to the bushes. But the tiger wasn't there. Instead, a tiger skin lay over a rock. <laughs> Wukong laughed. He was so scared, he ran right out of his skin. He slapped Bajie on the back. We are great protectors. <laughs> the two friends walked back to the road laughing. <laughs> but suddenly, their laughter stopped. Oh no! cried Wukong. Where is the Tang Monk? 